Hello, hello everyone. It is Danila Tuela yet again and I'd like to just welcome you back to our channel and thank you for coming back. And for the new subscribers, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. So today I thought I should just um, do one of the, the, the short Kelly wigs that we have in our company. This one is actually, um, I think about a year or two years old. It is one of our golden oldies. And um, um, this unit is one of the most misunderstood units that we have in in my in my in our collection at m and m old things Porsche. so today i thought uh because we have been receiving a lot of questions regarding the aftercare of this unit and how can one actually wear it best or the the, the most um asked questions are to as to how do what is it that we need to um use on the unit so that it can stay looking as good as fresh so this one is very old i just want to firstly explain the tell you about the quality of the hair because this hair is a high quality you can actually straighten this hair if you wanted to but because it's short i don't think um that would be um a, a nice look i would like to try it and I think I'm going to try it in, in the upcoming videos. But this is a uh, Malaysian virgin hair. It is the kinky curl, the short curls. And I've worn it. And when you have worn it properly, it takes the look of uh, the perm, a, a short perm or an scale. I think if, if, if a lot of you can uh, relate to that time when people used to like doing scales. So this one takes the look of the scales. And it can also take the look of an afro if you wanted it to look like an afro. But this is actually human hair. It is not synthetic. It is um, a good quality hair. It can last for a, a long time if you have taken good care of it, like the one that I have on right here. So today I just want to show you how I wear it and how I wash it so that it looks as good as maybe how uh, you would expect it to look on you so today i am going to be using this uh two in one organic aloe vera for normal hair to nourish the the hair from a root to uh to the top just want to quickly read um what is written in this um uh in the back of this organic they haven't uh, <laughs> they haven't uh, <clears throat> I haven't used it for my natural hair, but I've been using it a lot for my wigs and it hasn't disappointed me. It says it harnesses the power of natural finest essences for hair that shines from root to tip. Nature's own remedy to organic aloe vera is well known for its hydrating and moisturizing benefits. And before I go any further about the hydrating benefit, it is so important for us to take good care of our wigs as we take care of our own natural hair. Because most of the wigs that we do sell in our company is wigs that are, it's, it's like your natural it's as good as your natural hair wigs. It's like virgin hairs. So you need to take good care of it. It's not like because it's a wig, then you have to just neglect it. You need to moisturize it. You, you need to wash it as often as you would your own hair so that it keeps you are uh, keeping it looking as good as possible. Okay, let's get started. This is um, it's a volumizing conditioner and helps defense from styling. It's a mousse, actually. I'm going to use it afterwards, after I washed the <clears throat> the wig itself. And for, for styling purposes, then I'm going to use the mousse to lay it down flat and get it ready for, um, for wearing. So let's get started. <clears throat> Now, as I've explained before, this curl pattern is, is, is a pattern that is actually um, coming from the original curl pattern of this hair. 
so <clears throat> you don't even do you don't even have to do a lot on the hair itself to actually get back to its um good condition <clears throat> look at how good it it's, it's it's doing already look at the quality of this hair it's been worn i don't know how many times i've had i've had it for um close to two years if not more <clears throat> and what i usually do because i don't always get time to wash them from scratch and, and use your gels and all and the shampoos on it so if you're on the go and you feel like your hair is is dry just by simply pouring water like this as i am demonstrating as you can see the curls they come back to life you are popping them back so now i'm just going to use this shampoo and leather it generously on this hair because my intention today is just to wash it You can just brush it nicely, softly, so you can take all the dust that has been gathered uh, through the time that you've been using it. <clears throat> and just be too careful not to not to comb out the, the curls. And I think another best advice that I can give you when taking care of this one is so that you can maintain the curls and maybe style it according to however you want to style it it is best for you to to comb it while it's wet so look at how lustrous and beautiful these curls are coming out just by using water and shampoo this shampoo also has a conditioner in it so it's actually a two-in-one uh, it's a two-in-one <clears throat> shampoo So I, I, I actually washed it and rinsed it off camera for the purposes of this video because it would take forever if I were to do everything here on the camera. So I just wanted to show you how easy it is to take care of this unit and look at how rich these curls are. So what you actually can do on this one um, it is just to, to, to make sure that it is always moisturized not every day because if you put on your oils it will it will wear it it will wear it down so I think the best thing is to just have a small bottle of water that you can have on your purse or whenever you are, you want to have to style this hair and sprinkle it on the hair itself so that you can be able to manipulate it whilst it's still wet like this look at how beautiful this is i am loving it i am really loving it so um <clears throat> i'm going to be styling it again using um the mousse and prep it so that before it dries it is in the style that i want it to be in before i wear it because um after i have styled it with the mousse and styled it it will dry off and once it, it dries it the style is going to stay like that 
for when I want to just throw in the wig without making a lot of uh, manipulation on it. So I'm going to do that off camera and come back and show you the results. So this is what I've managed to do this far. I've, um, I've rinsed everything off and I went and styled it according to how I would uh, want the hair to look like because um, I want to make this video um, two parts. I want this to be about the washing and I'm going to upload a part two where I'm going to show you this week actually on my hair and show you how I uh, wear it and how I style it so that it looks as good as it does in pictures. And once again, thank you so much again for watching and continue supporting this uh, channel so that it can grow to be as good as what you would want it to be. I am so excited about this journey. I am very, very uh, simple and flexible. I am getting ready to actually learn with you. I am new in this channel and I hope you are going to forgive me for all the mistakes that I am going to be doing together, that we are going to be doing together and correct me where you can be able to help me. So for now, I'm going to end here with our short curl wig and I am going to um, upload a part two as well. So make sure if you want to see how it looks when it's sitting on my hair, continue to watch until you get to the part two. This is part one of wearing the short hair wig. Thank you so much and I'm looking forward to be with you again. It's Danila Tobila again. See you next time. Goodbye.